Welcome back to class, guys. Today we got a review class plan for Sarah. Uh, we're going to get things started off right away, Sarah. We're going to start our warm up. Okay, I'm going to get you right beside me. We're going to warm up today, guys, with a bow squat. Okay, bow squat with a kick. So is what we're going to do is we're just going to go down and squat, up, kick, and down. Good. We keep those toes pointed up nice and high. Down, up, kick. Good. Together with me, one. Two, three, good job, four, and five, and six, good job, good job keeping your back straight, seven, and eight, nine, And 10. Nice. Okay, Sarah, we're gonna switch now to an overhand grip, okay? So we're in a regular grip right now. All we're gonna do is take our right hand and go like that. That's it, perfect. So now is what we're gonna do is we're gonna get our bow up into that overhand grip. You're just gonna have a light, slight angle to it like that, very good. Okay, and all we're gonna do is we're just gonna go front snap kick and back. We're just gonna warm up our legs, there you go. Okay, together with me on my count, and one. Good, two, three, four, five, good, six, seven, eight, you're doing a good job, nine, and 10. Good, now we're gonna switch. So when we switch, very easy, we're just gonna go like that. That's all you need to do. Don't even need to worry about the hands when we're in that overhand grip. Together with me, and one, two, three, four, five, good, nice stance, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Very nice. Okay, next one we're gonna work on, Sarah, is we're just gonna do some rib strikes, okay? So for a rib strike, we're just gonna get into, this is kinda of like gonna be um, a horse riding stance, okay? So we're just gonna get down into a horse riding stance. I'm gonna bend both knees just like that. I'm gonna hold the heel out like that. So it's right down my center line. Yep, you bet. Bow is gonna be resting against there. Now every time we strike, we want the bow to be right down the center line. So the reason we're doing this one, guys, is we want to make sure we're really focusing on hip usage, okay? So we're gonna start the bow out like so, and one. Good, keep that elbow up, there you go. Underneath, there you go. Three, <laughs> two, <laughs> three, four, five. Keep that elbow up, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Good. Last one we're gonna do is we're just gonna stay in that front uh, or get into a forward stance, and we're just gonna do our overhead front strike, bring it back, really focusing on the technique on my count. Ready and one. Good job sliding that hand. Two, three. Good, slide that hand. Four. Five. Six. Very nice job. Seven. Eight. Nine. And 10. Good, switch. Good, very nice switch, excellent. Um, when Sarah is doing her striking, she's doing a good job of keeping the bow horizontal before she goes in her strike. It shows a nice uh, form of preparation. I'm going to get you to take one step towards me, Sarah. Perfect. Okay. And I'm going to take you a half step back. Perfect. Okay. On my count, same drill, only we're going to go left-handed. Make sure we really are sliding that hand back. Okay. And one. Good. Slide that hand back. And two. There you go. Three. 
Good. Four. Good. Five. Six. Good. Now let's just get just a little bit more um, wrist snapping when we come down, okay? Just that last little, and that'll just give it that extra little bit of oomph, okay? Let's do three more, okay? And one. Good. Now, when you snap that wrist, it comes down, and see how it just kind of twists like that just a little bit? Yep, just like that. Two more. One. There you go. And two. Excellent. That looks great. Good job, ma'am. Hope you guys enjoyed your warm-up. For our review portion of class, we're going to be putting all of our strikes and blocks together that we've been working on. You ready, ma'am? Okay. So the way we're going to start with this one, Sarah, is we're going to start with a overhead front strike. Okay. So for these, I want you to just give me a nice technical overhead front strike. You're going to start in that neutral stance. You're going to step forward into that strike. Okay. So we're going to go right palm up, left palm down. There you go. And it's just going to go just as we've been practicing, try and avoid your foot dragging and just try and put all the movements together, keeping in mind we want some nice power behind it. You ready, ma'am? Okay, so it's going to be on my count, and we're just going to start like so. And one. Good. Okay. So what, what happened there? Do you remember? Do you know? Uh, wrong hand. Wrong yeah, you're in, that's right, the wrong foot. And it felt awkward, right? Okay, so it feels awkward if you're out with the wrong foot first. So keep in mind, guys, that when I'm stepping into that strike, if it's my right hand striking, it's my right foot that's kind of moving up and in and then out, okay? There you go. You ready? Let's do a redo on that one. And one. There you go, good. Back to ready, two. Very nice. Three. Good power. Four. Good. Facing me now. And five. Good. Keep that bow nice and horizontal when you go into your strike, okay? Back to ready. And six. Good. Yep. You're here. Get it resting like that, so you're here, and then you move into that strike. Okay, six. There you go. Seven. Good. We're going to switch sides. Okay, you're going to face me. We're going to do two more, okay? Eight. Good. Try and avoid dragging that foot. Nine. There you go, good power. And 10. Nice, good power. Okay, we're gonna face the front again. Right there is good, ma'am. Okay, and we're gonna go, so we're here, we're gonna switch to left dominant. There you go, very nice. So this one's just gonna look like that. You ready? So left hand, left foot, just like that. Make sure we slide, so remember, um, you were struggling with sliding your hand back in the left dominant, okay? So that's one that you may need to go just a little bit slower just to make sure that that hand slide is in there so you get that muscle memory. Okay, on my count, and one. Good, that was nice. Two. Very nice. And three. Good, now that one... You're, that one, you're just slightly leaned over, okay? So we want to make sure we keep nice posture. Okay, facing me now. Three going this way on my count, and one. Good, right in front of me, hey guys? <laughs> Two. I have complete faith in her. And three. Good, that back heel came up just to, I watched that back heel, guys, like a hawk, okay? It came up just ever so slightly, okay? So I'll get you on this side, okay? So we want to make sure we keep that heel down. Let's do three facing me on my count, and one. Good. Now that back foot, 
it was, it's kind of turning this way. So we really want to focus on trying to keep them both straight. Okay. Two. Good. Back heels up. It's harder than it looks sometimes. Last one. Really nice technical strike. Keep that heel down on your own. There you go. Let's, let's try one more, okay? Keep that heel down. One. There you go. Good. Very nice. Okay, back in your spot. Next one we're going to do, four-point combo, okay? So we're going to get that right dominant. There you go. Yep. Okay. And now keep in mind, guys, that when I'm doing a four-point strike, it's coming up on the same side that my back leg is on, okay? So Sarah's going to go one, two, three, four. I'm using my hips, okay? That's a big part of this one is hip usage. Okay, you ready on my count? And one. Good. And back to ready. Good. Holding the bow like so. Yep. Just like that. Same grip. Yep. And two. That's okay. We've all, we've all hit ourselves using the bow. Three. Good. A little more hip usage. Kate, facing me. Three on this, uh, facing this way. So you're going to get your right foot in front. Okay. And one. Good. A little more hip usage. Okay. Um, two. It's better. It's better. And you want that to come right down that imaginary center line and hits that imaginary dime. Okay. Doing a nice job of keeping the bow horizontal when it's going from side to side. And one more, three. Good, just a little more hip usage. I'm gonna get you over on this side, ma'am. Okay, so when I'm talking about hip usage, guys, so I'm driving my hips up and then down, and then it's very slight to the side and then back, okay? It doesn't need to be over exaggerated, it just needs to be there so it's assisting with the power. Okay, you ready? Okay, three facing me and one. Good, so we're sw instead of swaying side to side, okay, I want it up. See how I turn like that? I'm turning my body, okay, so I'm not going like that. <laughs> It's not like it's like not like quite like dancing, okay? So we want to make sure that it's we're just turning our hip with it, okay? So we don't have to sway our hips, we just turn our hips. Okay? Let's do two more, really focusing on turning the hips on. You've got a nice when you're moving in, you're doing a good job of driving the hip forward. It's just the sides, I just want to see them turning, okay? Okay, two more. One. It's better. And two. Good, good. Okay, let's go back to the front. Okay, we're going to go left dominant now. Okay. I'm going to be here. Okay, so it's going to come, remember, it's on the, whatever foot is in the back is the same side the bow comes up, okay? And one. Good, yep, and then keep, there you go, keep that arm up and then just get it right in there. And two. Very nice. Let's bend your front knee just there. There you go. And back to ready. Facing me. And one. Very nice. She's doing an excellent job keeping it horizontal. Two. Good. And the hips are starting to turn a little bit now too. And three. Very nice. Okay, I'm going to switch sides with you. We're going to do three from that side. And one. Good. And two. And when you come up, I'm going to get you to stop this time, okay? And three. Stop. Now, if you guys notice, when she comes up, 
She strikes, she gets the bow and it's getting her on kind of like the meaty part. She doesn't want to get it right on the bone, okay? So she wants it to miss that spot. So we want to try and keep the bow nice and straight, but we don't want it driving down on that bone. It's really going to hurt, okay? That looks good. Very nice. Okay, back in your spot. We're just plugging along on this uh, review class here. Okay, the next one we're gonna work on is a front thrust. Okay, so we're gonna get into that right dominant. Now remember, we slide back ever so slightly. We have it so our left palm is down and our right palm is up. I'm gonna step forward and twist. Okay, so when I twist, notice how my hand goes like that. Okay, so when I finish, my right palm should be almost down, okay? Okay, on my count, and one. Good, and when it strikes, let's go back. There you go, there you go, like that, yep. Yep, okay, again, I get you to slide over just a bit. There you go, two. There, good, yep, and we want it nice and horizontal. Now, we're gonna look at your stance. That's pretty good, that's pretty good. I would go just slightly wider, okay? There you go. And one more of this that way. And three. Good, now there's a little over exaggerated on the, on the twist, but um, I like that you're really thinking about it. That's awesome. Okay, facing me, we're gonna do the same thing. Okay, I'm gonna just, yep, you're perfect right there. Okay, so we're gonna get a nice deep stance in that and then just that same, bring it up. It should feel just nice and comfortable when we're doing that twist. We shouldn't have to feel like we're overextending our hand. It's just nice and comfortable. So it starts prepared and then just twists. Yep. And one. Good. Now, now check, check your stance and your posture, okay? Because you're, you're dipping into it a little bit. So we want to make sure that we have a nice straight back when we do it, okay? Good, because you're kind of you're kind of reaching into it. We don't want to reach for it, we, we want to step into it, okay? Two more. That's much better, that one looked really nice. Really nice rotation, it was all smooth. And two. Good, yep. Yeah, just, we'll just keep working on that wrist twist. Okay, I'm gonna show over on this side. Okay, so we're gonna do three on this side. We're gonna start in that right dominance. Perfect, and one. Good, good. And two. Good, now your feet are pretty much on a straight line. So that front, the way I'd correct that is, so I bring my bow in, I step out a little bit further, because what you're doing is you're stepping straight forward, and you want it so that your foot stays right under your shoulders. It give you quite a bit more balance, if you can do that. Uh, let's do two more. One. There you go. Good, now keep that back up nice and straight. You're kind of leaning into it just a little bit, so we just want that back nice and straight. Last one. Nice, good, good. Okay, we're gonna switch. Let's go left dominance, okay? Okay, so we're gonna pull that bow back. Strike, so we want that nice twisting motion. There you go, very nice. And two. Excellent, your left side looks really nice. And three. Good, a little more wrist twisting. Okay, facing me. Three on this uh, direction. And one. Nice bow prep, really nice, okay. You're doing great. And two. Good. It doesn't even need to come so much into your body as we, when we pull it, it's, it's outside my body. You'll find that it's much more comfortable that way. 
Yeah, because we don't want it right up in here. We just want it back and then we step into it, okay? Should be about maybe three or four inches away from your chest. Okay, and one, last one. There you go, that looks good. A little wider stance is coming along nicely though. Okay, right over here. Sarah has the luxury of me just breaking down and dissecting absolutely every aspect of the stances. Okay, you ready? Three on this side. And one. Good, good, very nice. And two. Very nice. Last one. Three. Very good. Okay, let's get back in our spots. We got one more that we're going to do, guys. It's going to be the push block. Sarah's been doing really well with push block. Okay, quick review on push block. Okay, so we want to get it around our foot. Step into that block. Very nice. Okay, on my count, and one. Good. A little bit wider stance. And two. There you go. Very nice. And three. Excellent. Real smooth. That's looking really smooth. Facing me. And one. Push blocks look very nice. Two. Good. And three. Really good job. Okay, switch. If you guys are noticing, she's getting quite a bit of fluidity with her movement. Um, it is looking very, your push blocks are looking very comfortable. One. Good. Two. Good. Now remember, it's try and get it so it's nice and smooth, okay? Last one, try and make it one smooth, fluid movement. Three. There you go. Good. Okay. Switch into left dominance. Okay. Focus on nice, smooth movement without having any stops, okay? And one. Good. Two. That's okay. That's okay. Redo. Two. Good. And remember, we're going to do this like that. Try and do it like this. See how I'm not? I'm just bringing it around. I'm not, I don't drop, sweep, push. I'm here. I try and do it so it's just the bow's constantly moving, but it still has clear definition. Um, for the angles, okay? Let's do one more on this side. One. There you go. That's so much better. Okay, facing me. It's just the small things like that, but that's really how the development happens. Okay, one. There you go. It's getting more and more smooth every time. Two. Good. She's still stepping into it. She's still timing it properly. Three. Nice. Switch. Last three. And one. Good. Two. And very nice. And three. Really good job. Excellent. Ma'am, ma'am's just crushing it. Okay. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the review section. We're going to work on a little bit of combination work now, just refining our combinations. We've done these ones before. Okay, so as well, how we're going to start this one off, Sarah, is we're just going to do three in each direction, and we're just looking on building up that muscle memory. Okay, so the first one we're going to work on is going to be a four point uh, combo followed with a thrust. Okay, so it's going to look like this. Make sure I don't hit you. One, two, three, four, bring the bow back, thrust. Okay, so. When we're doing that thrust, we want to make sure we pull it out and away from our body and then in, okay? So on my count, nice and steady, and try and add that smooth movement as you're getting more comfortable with it, okay? Uh, technique is always key, guys, so we don't want to start working on speed until we have the technique down, okay? On my count, 
and one. Oh, other side. So we always want to go. We always, there we go. We always want to go to that same side that the foot is in the back. Okay, and that can happen. Okay, ready? And one. Good, now hold on. There you go. There. Corrected. Okay. And back to ready. And two. Good. Get that bow nice and horizontal. We want it. There you go. Just like that. One more. Let's use our hips on that four point. And three. There you go. Very nice. A little bit of an angle on that bow. We want to get a little bit more horizontal. Okay, facing me. And one. Restart. Good, now twist that wrist. So when you bring that bow up, see how I pull my wrists like this? So I'm here, I pull them like that. Other way, other way. There you go. So I'm here, it's just comfortable. Bring it up, twist it. There you go. And then make sure that you get it up in here, okay? Let's do two more on this side. Get you to take half a step this way. There you go. And one. There you go. So just hold your stance, okay? You're really leaning into it. So um, we want to make sure that the bow, like our back is nice and straight and that we're just in that. You got a nice stance. Um, it's just we want to keep the back straight and then keep that bow up in our arm, okay? Armpit. One more. On your own. Try again, <laughs> try again. So remember, when we do that thrust, we bring it back and then we thrust, okay? So the thrust goes into my armpit, okay? So you're pulling it away from your body and then you're, you're doing a very Okinawan thrust, which is we're not, we're not quite working on that yet, okay? So we wanna bring it up and then it tucks in as we're curling it. Yeah, right into the armpit though, okay? There you go, like that. Good, let's do one more four point with a thrust on this side. There you go, excellent, nice twist on that. Okay, I'll switch you sides. Really nice twist on that. Okay, and one. Very nice. Good, just a little more hips now on that four point. Okay, turning the hips, <laughs> not shaking them. <laughs> okay, and one, uh, two. Good, good. Now when we do that four point, let's try and keep it nice and straight, okay? Because it's easy for it to kind of go like that. Okay, we just want to try and kind of fits into this little divot in here with your, between your muscle and your bone. Okay. Last one. Three. Good. Okay. Switch back. Let's go left dominant. Okay. So remember it's going on the back side. One, two, three, four. Thrust. And one. Nice, very nice. Two. Nice. And three. Good, very nice. Okay, facing me. She's doing a great job of keeping the angles nice and clean. The technique is getting stronger. Looks nice. One.
Very nice. The, the thrust is coming along quite nicely. Uh, two. Good. And three. Good. Good. Okay, let's switch. That's okay. It's still... You're correcting it where you, you uh, see the error. So the, the self-identification on that is, is, really, is really important. Okay, ready? And one. Very nice. Two. Very nice again. And three. Good. We want it. There you go. <laughs> so check your back foot. Okay. There you go. That's why I could move you like that. Okay. Okay. Back in our spot. Next combo we're going to work on, guys, is going to be a push block overhead front strike. Okay. So we got that nice push block. I'm going to rest the bow up on my shoulder as I bring that foot back slightly, and then I step back out into it, okay? So remember, I get that extension, I bring it back, I strike, okay? You ready? Right dominant. Perfect. On my count. And one. Good. Timing was just slightly off. So after we get that push block, as I press the bow up on my shoulder, I'm going to bring that foot back at the same time. And then when I step forward, the bow moves forward. Okay? So they're moving back together, and then they're moving forward together. Okay. Back in that right dominance. And two. There you go. Very nice. And three. Good. Try not to do the foot stomp. <laughs> it's, we're graceful. We're like ninjas, okay? Okay, I'll get you to back up just a bit. And right there is good. Okay, and you're going to facing me. Good. And same combo. We're going to do three times. And one. There you go. Excellent. Good. And two. Very nice. She's doing an excellent job of sliding that hand back, and it's really making the technique look nice. And three. Awesome. OK, this side. And one. Very nice. Two. Good. Now on this one, try and do it nice and one smooth movement, okay? Okay? Do your best. Do your best. And three. It's getting better. The, the best way for that, though, is by starting to practice it that way. So once you kind of are starting to get that mechanic, then you try and get it so that it's one smooth mechanic, okay? And then once you've got that, then you add the power and speed, okay? On this side, we're going to go left dominant now, okay? I'm going to drop the bow to my open side, bring it around, push, slide that foot back as I get the bow on my shoulder, strike. Yep. Okay, you ready? And one. Okay. See, she's already correcting herself. Okay. okay. Let's go. And one. Good. I, excellent, excellent overhead front strike. I, I want to see a little bit more follow through on that push block because your push block went about halfway 
and then you went into your overhead front strike. So we want to make sure we finish every technique, okay? So you get that nice, clean, full extension push block. And two. Nice. Very nice. That one looked really good. And three. Good. So the footwork, the foot, right? Your, your, yeah. And that was your footwork because if you're, when you're coming back to, um, you do that block, you should be shoulder width. When I bring it back in, it can come in just slightly, but then it goes back out. If you'll notice my feet, they're still shoulder width apart. Okay. That's what gives me that nice solid baseline. Okay. Uh, get you to back up just half a step. That's perfect. So we're going to go left dominant facing me three times, keeping in, in mind that nice base that you want. And one. Very good. And two. It's okay. Redo. Two. Good. Just a little bit more wrist snap when you're coming down, okay? And three. There you go. That was a nice wrist snap. Okay, this side. Last set of three. Then we're going to start working on some flourishing. One. Good. Now let's add that smoothness factor, okay? So it doesn't need to be fast. Just try and get it so it's one continuous smooth movement, okay? Two. Looking better. And last one, three. Nice, really nice. Coming along awesome, doing a great job. Hope you guys enjoyed the combination section. Sarah Mam is doing awesome. To finish out class today, guys, Sarah's gonna keep working on that flourish, okay? So some things to keep in mind, Sarah, when we're doing that is we want our hands about a, a fist length apart, okay? So let's say about that much, okay? And then we really wanna focus on, you've got the mechanic down, so is what we really wanna focus on now is using our wrists and kinda of trying to keep that bow really tight to our body, okay? We're gonna kinda of loosen up our grip now. I don't want you gripping it real tight. I just want it nice and kinda of loose so you can manipulate the bowl more easily, okay? So we're really gonna make it hug each side of our body as it's coming up, making sure we don't clip our legs, okay? Clipping our legs is bad, okay? Just nice and smooth, we're just gonna help you out as we go along. So it's that nice smooth rowing motion, yep. There you go. Good. Now on your left side, get it closer to your body. There. Yep, still bring it across. There you go. Good, now when it comes across, so you want it to come across like this so it's nice and smooth, but then when it hits right here, you're gonna flip it so it goes straight up. Okay, and then it's gonna come back that way and then do the same thing. Okay. Yep. And then down. Yep. And then, then when it gets here, mm -hmm. get your this hand over this way more so that you can flip it straight up. And then as soon as it's right here, you're going to start bringing it across so that it's a nice smooth movement. Yep, keep going. And then across. Oh, hold on. We're here, and it's coming around, and then it flips up, and then the other side, and it flips up. There you go. Good. There you go. Coming along nicely. It's looking good. The one spot you want to get it a little bit tighter is on your left side. There you go. You want there, coming back like that. Good. Now if you watch mine, when I come up, I come across my body and then I flip it up. 
across my body and then I flip it up. So if you'll notice, the bow isn't coming here and then across and then I switch here and then across and then I switch. It comes across and then I switch it. It's just a nice smooth motion. It's like cutting across the axis of my body. So it's gradual. So I don't have to like rush anything, okay? Let's do a couple more and just try and make it like a nice gradual motion. I'll get you to take half a step back. There you go. Don't worry about speed at all. Just really focus on just nice and smooth. Yep, just, a, just do a few more. Good, it's that left side that's giving you a little bit of trouble. Up and around, there you go, good. And then see, now you get it up there, so when it's up here, hold on. When it's up here and you're bringing it, you're gonna start rowing it this way. And instead of bringing it straight down, you get it so that it's down here, then you flip it and it comes around, then you bring it around to this side, and it comes across, and then you flip it up. And then it comes down and across, and then you flip it. The only thing is you gotta be careful when you're coming across it, you don't clip your shin. Good. That one's just, it, it's one of those ones, guys, that it just, it takes a lot of repetition to get that one down. Um, comes comes really naturally to some people. If you have like experience, like maybe kayaking or something like that, you may find that it's really easy to do. Okay, um, you're coming along really nicely. It's just one of those things that just takes lots of repetition. Uh, we're gonna cool down now, guys. Okay, so we did lots of shoulders today. So we're gonna cool down our shoulders. We're gonna do some nice big shoulder circles, just nice and easy. Good, and then just back the other way. Good. So are you nervous for your mini test? She's taking her mini test next day. So um, today was like kind of like a mock test for Sarah. So she did really well. Um, tomorrow or the next filming day is going to be more of the same. Okay, so really nice job on that, Sarah. You've been doing great. Okay, we're just going to get into that deep lunge and just kind of stretch out those hip flexors. Just nice and easy. Good. Then we're going to switch. Good. This is another one, guys, that actually it's a good way to practice your front stances. Long front stances, you can really feel that in your hip flexor. Good. Okay. I'm just going to rest the bow up on my shoulder. I'm just going to do a couple of um, uh, chest stretches. Good. Nice and easy. Good work. Good. How was class for you? Good. Good. Okay. Hope you guys enjoyed our class, and next class is Sarah's mini test.